All right, guys, we are here in Carrollton, Texas at the Cube Smart, where me and Rob bought two units for a total of about $2,000. Good news and bad news. The good news is, is that there is a lot of profit. We're talking at least 15 grand is what I'm thinking. She's shaking her head. Yes, she's taking my word. She hasn't I even taken his word. <laughs> she hasn't even seen the unit. So uh, trust is a good thing in marriage. So, hey. She's uh, $15,000 profit, I think on a minimum between the knives and just all the little stuff, the G.I. Joe stuff, which is in like collector, like uh, collector condition. It's not all broke, like it's it's perfect. So I think we're looking at least $15,000 on a $2,000 investment. Here's the bad news. So I tossed and turned all last night, and here's the deal, guys. We had, and a lot of you were agreeing with me like you got to call the cops i hope you call the cops some of y'all are insulting me for not calling the cops but here's the deal guys sometimes you got to slow down because if you if you act too fast you could do something foolish and really hurt someone and hurt their life because as of right now what i see is not illegal now does it give me hints and does it, it it's weird it's very weird um but that could be the extent of it. It's weird, not illegal. And so you, sometimes you gotta pump the brakes. You gotta think through things. But I, I kept waking up all night. And I was like, you know what? If there's a chance that someone could be in trouble because of the, I think the kid's stuff in the unit was his. I think he, you know, I, I don't see any signs of like pedophile, like in the pedophile unit. Yeah, like that, that was, was straight up. Obvious. I mean, there was photos. Yeah. There, was, there was just, that was disgusting. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen the pedophile unit, I'll link it down here. I might put a card up here, but go check that out. That is my first most disturbing unit. This is the second. So in saying that, I'm going to tell the, the manager, say, hey, I, I, I might call the cops. I think I'm going to, I'm going to call the non-emergency number maybe just to say, hey, you what might want to come mean? check this out. They could run his name, make sure there's no warrants, that there's no open investigations or stuff like that. Uh, so we will do that. But I'm also going to just, let's go to the unit. Let me run it here and then we'll go to the unit and let's do a little bit more investigation before we just start getting all crazy and out of control. But I do agree with you that it does look sick, but you can't deny it. There's nothing specifically that any of y'all can point at in the video or anything I can point at as of right now to say that illegal actions went down. All we have is to say is that it looks a little, looks a little, looks weird. A little weird. But I could see how it could lead to some other action. So let's do some more investigating. The part of the problem with the world is everybody just jumps to freaking conclusions. Like our, my conclusion yesterday has been that's, that's pretty sick. That's weird. I, I believe in traditional marriage. I believe in all that good stuff. But so in saying that, let me run in here, do that. Then we'll go do some more investigation. Then we'll probably call the cops in this video just so that they can run his name. Maybe run the names of the people that were in there and make sure they're all alive. Yeah. And the, oh, here's the weirdest thing that I didn't tell you. So I used to be, before we quit and quit our, our corporate jobs, we both come from the corporate world. I worked for the corporate office of Motel 6 for eight years. One of the other uh, managers, directors, worked there for at least five or six of the years I was there. So I knew her very well. Um, and I found her business card. Like I saw the Accor North America top of the card and I was like, oh, I know that business card. I used to have one of those cards. And then I said, I wonder if I know him and I pulled it out and it was her name. And I was like, oh yeah, I not only know of her, but like her office was right around the corner from mine. So anyway, and we're friends on Facebook. So I thought about sending her a card to get some information. Stay tuned, I might update you on that. I might send that a picture of the card just to see if she knows anything. And I'm not gonna say anything or interject because I don't want to go spreading people's yeah. business. I might just send the card and say, hey, you know so-and-so and see what she says. If her reaction's like, yeah, you might want to steer clear. All right. 
But anyway, all right, so enough of that. Let's go inside. Let's tell the owner, because I just don't want Popos pulling up to the gate, and then they come in, and he's talking about, you know, possible sex crimes or whatever and all this, and then he doesn't know, and then I put him in a bad spot. So let's just go warn him that we'll possibly be calling the cops. I just want to let you know, I've had to do this before because I bought a unit full of whatever pedophilia yeah, stuff. Uh, yeah. And they, the CSI came out and everything. Okay. Um, but this is my second most disturbing unit I've ever bought. Okay. Um, uh, so I just want to let you know because I didn't want them okay. pulling up. Uh, I appreciate the heads up on yeah. that. Um, I suppose the best thing is give them a holler and let them. Yeah, that's what I'll do is I'll let them come out and check it and make sure, but like. There's lock boxes oh, with files okay. of, oh, of stuff. Oh, yeah, oh, there you yeah. go. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got you. Yeah. So they'll, they'll probably be coming out. Okay, I appreciate the heads up. And it's uh, great. All right. He said thank you for telling him. to kind of do some further investigation to let the, the cops know of possible weirdness. Uh, but we're also going to go ahead and pack up all of the uh, the sellable stuff so we can get that up for auction for you guys. If you're lucky, that stuff, this stuff in these units will be up this Friday um, and probably run until next Monday or Tuesday. But So we're here to load up. And not only that, I know yesterday's video was really fast-paced kind of. Um, and especially when there's so much cool stuff, I just I turn into like a... a a non-crackhead crackhead. My behavior is very reflective of a math addict when I get excited. So, in further, uh, in saying that, we're gonna go into a lot more detail in this video of all the knives and all that good stuff. Wait, is it 391? I think it's 391. All right, guys, had to go do the robot. But these lights only work when you do the robot, so I had to go there. Robot. That's what I told Rob yesterday. I couldn't get him to do the robot though. So all right y'all this is the unit with the knife So if y'all want to let's do some uh, further investigation and let's also look at the, the detail Knives oh look, gosh, look babe. So yeah. I know right look y'all look autograph baseballs Okay, oh, cool. all kinds of stuff. So mm -hmm. hey, let us get something set up real quick and then we'll do some let's do some slower Unboxing because if we're honest y'all really didn't see any of the knives really, but maybe like two. Let's look at them. All right, y'all, <clears throat> let's go ahead and we're gonna go, let's do some detailed unboxing. So there's two of these bags. He went through these, so I don't know how good he went through these. Yeah, look, gloves. Oh. Y'all, what if we find his, oh, what was weird is, is I popped open that one thing, the red thing, and it had pills in it. And somebody said they were muscle relaxers with the dirty panties in it, which like, was he slipping people pills? That's why I'm like, there's, it does, it, it does look bad, so. Uh, but you know, at least if you're gonna do that, read your Bible afterwards, right? With your shank, your spoon, <laughs> shank, your spoon shank, and your 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 gloves, your tissue. Like, what? I mean, what's this kit for? But hey, good news is this bag, and there's another bag in here. That oh, it's a, I, I don't know where it is. Rob said that oh, it's in here. Rob said that these are about five hundred dollars a piece. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, he said he has, he said this is like, uh, yeah, yeah, he said these are really super expensive packs, and I believe him, because y'all know he has these kinds for hunting and stuff, and so he says that's at least a $500 pack. I believe him. Do this. Manager's probably going to be coming down here. Okay, so look, a lot of these says CR, but look, he, he put them, he protected them, okay? So we got model numbers. We're gonna have the sheaths for everything. I'm not gonna put that back in there right now. 
Uh, I know we, oh, maybe it's this knife. But see how nice he had everything yeah, in here? Yeah, that is really nice. Yeah, that is. That goes to that. Okay. Then look, all the sets are in here. Oh, this is the same brand. This is designed by somebody Hill, Hibber or something. I don't know. But look, here's some throwing knives. Those are in there. And then you got like these high-speed prison shanks. <laughs> okay. And you got, you got the small and the large, but no medium. Okay. Y'all, hey, there's boxes in the back too. Okay. Oh, look, it's a yeah, gun pistol, thingy. Pistol grips. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are Taurus, like wood grips. There's a box back there that's full of grips. Like, and you know, grips, some grips can go like expensive. Yeah. So we got a Taurus. That's another Taurus. Uh, he really liked his Tauruses, didn't he? So look, we got all these pistol grips in this one. That's good. Let's see what's in this one. We looked a few of these up yesterday, and several of them were like. 300 plus dollar knives like up to eight or nine hundred I think is what we found. This is a really cool knife. Yeah, that is cool. It's like a some kind of graphite handle. He sharpened it obviously mm -hmm. But we got the sheet for that We didn't look any of these up You know like these are just weird like what are these just throwing knives? Yeah, you know it almost I mean? looks like you can put your own like handle on them or something. So like when never mind I almost had a joke But it would have been inappropriate So in this one uh, this is a Spec Plus Army knife. Pretty cool. Uh, there's this sheath to it. Oh, this I think was a Gerber, maybe. Uh, but I took the knife out and I think me and Lunkers put it in that box. And then we got like this kind of like knockoff K bar. All right, Uno Moss. Okay, so look, these are all down in here. You know, at first it looked like these were just empty sheaths, but I don't see a brand on these, so these might just be generic. But look, all the blades to them are in here. And then I guess that goes on your belt. Yeah, that goes on your belt, I'm assuming. Maybe, heck, I don't know what you do with them. All right, let's show these in detail. Okay, sorry y'all about yesterday. Hey, listen, I know some of you, listen. I don't want to hear no more comments about Lunker's mouth, okay? If we put all of our lives under a microscope, you got just as bad stuff in your life. I do, Gina does, that's just as bad, or it may not be as obvious, obvious but, it's still there. but we all have issues, yeah. guys. Like, I mean, look, I know he's got a potty mouth. Look, I have when I get angry, I can have a potty mouth. So, you know what I mean? So it's yeah, I'm just saying, like, we need to be have a little bit more grace towards people, because like, hey, look. A pastor I once knew, he used to say it. Nobody wants their life put up. Like, if we took all the thoughts in your mind, yours and mine, and put them up on a movie screen and we invited the whole world to come watch it, nobody wants that done. So be nice. Be forgiving. Have grace towards each other. Ain't nobody perfect. Dang. All right. So we got these sheets. That's military issued. That's really cool. That's older. Look at that leather wrap mm -hmm. on that. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, it might. So here's some little sheets down here. Look, that's it's in there. Swiss. Yeah, it's a it's Swiss Army, but look, it's brand new. yeah. I don't even. It's a combo. I don't even know how much that goes for, but we know. I mean, that's a pretty expensive brand. Yeah. Uh, okay, we got the Quartermaster Army ninety five. This is such a massive. That's huge. Freaking pocket <laughs> knife. And it's heavy, y'all. Like this is, this is massive. It's a, it's a Freeman, I think, or Grayman. Freeman or Grayman. Some sheaths down in here. This is a SOG. Okay. A little SOG combat knife. This is a... Ooh, look at the teeth on that oh, sucker. No. That's wild. Uh, this is a Glock. I didn't Wait, know Glocks. Glock made I, I mean, knife. I figured. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Smith & Wesson and all the other ones make knives. This is a Glock knife. Is that a Gerber? Sure is, man. Look at that Gerber. Gerber. Just know the handle. How many of these have we sold? Oh, a lot. <laughs> so here, real quick story. Like, me and Gina were put in a situation years ago where a guy from church called me and said, hey, my neighbor behind me has this huge knife collection. It was his dad's or something. He just passed away. He said they want five grand for it. And I was like, man, I, I didn't know anything about knives at that point. And so I had to make a quick decision because the neighbor came over in the middle of my deal and said, oh, I'll give you 5,000 for it. 
or he said my mom will give you five thousand. And then the guy was like, well, we're kind of doing a deal right now. And I mean, I wanted to punch him in the face and the Jesus said, you can't do that. And then, so I ended up getting, so I just called Gina and said, hey, I need you to go get $5,000 out of the bank. I gotta, gotta buy this collection. And so we bought it, but we probably ended up making close to $100,000, like on when everything was said and done, but how many of these we did we sell? We had so many knives, yeah. These, but the Mark IIs, and, but yeah. these are from the 90s. Mm -hmm. The ones we had were from the 80 all, and we got $1,000 a knife for several knives. Lunkers found this yesterday. Oh, I'm gonna look this dude up on Facebook and stuff and see what I can find out. All right, guys, I don't think I showed you this, but this is a, an actual foo bar, like to break into stuff. Oh. And if this wasn't a joint unit, I'd probably keep that or I might have to buy it out of the auction. But you know what foo bar stands for? An FU bar? <laughs> it's, a, oh, it's what we use in the military. Oh. Effed up beyond all recognition. Oh, okay. All right, y'all. So this is one of the boxes. Okay, so first of all, this case that I found that had all the weird stuff in it, we had already found two before. One down in that unit, one here. But this one had two padlocks on it. I wanted to record it, but when I, I was back there in the corner, and I handed it over to Lunkers, and he freaking acted like me and went crazy and just started busting it open. And so, uh, sorry that you didn't get to enjoy that. So, all right, so this is one of the boxes that was in there. So, this card is from one of the ladies' names on the envelopes with the used panties in it. So at some point, now this could have changed, but from here, everything looks consensual. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because they're writing them cars, thanking them for the, the good night and all this other good stuff. So as of right now, I would have to say that it's, it, it was consensual, but that could have changed at any point. Look, here's some Perry Ellis. Oh yeah, those are nice. Uh, cuff links. Cuff links. So we'll, we'll put those into to the sellable box, wherever I put that, we'll, oh, under here. Um, so right now it looks consensual. So what I'm going to do is, is while me and Gina are packing up all the small stuff, we haven't gone through any of these boxes. We're going to pop those open and I'll keep showing you in more detail what you didn't see. But do y'all agree? Like as of right now, you see like, just cause you or I may think it's weird again, does not make it illegal. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so right now, look at all these like post-it notes. This looks like stuff that I did when we was dating. Yeah. Left you post-it notes on the, in your Bible, on your... On, on your, the mirror. On the mirror I'd leave for you and stuff like that. Um, who am I to because you, you have helped me grow in so many ways. Moving to be with you is the best decision I've ever made. I love you. Oh, that's sweet. I love you, your hands, and how they fit in mine perfectly. Okay, didn't know where that was going, but that's good. Your cooking is amazing. Can't wait for you to open up your restaurant. Ooh. I told him. I told in the video yesterday. I told Lunkers I thought he owned a restaurant. Uh, I love what because there is there's sign and there's an open sign and there's all kinds of stuff in here. So I can easily figure out what a restaurant he owed. I'll try to update that. Uh, you're the sexiest man in the world. How did she know that I was going to read this? I don't know. <laughs> okay, y'all. Let's go through this. Okay, so we're hoping. Yeah, but these are all empty. Oh, they're empty. <laughs> but but. We're Hopefully hoping. We'll find them. Yeah, because look at all these bench made boxes and stuff. Yep. You know, let's see if there's prices on these. But look, they're all different model numbers. So we have hopes that we're going to find the loosey gooseys of all these. All right, y'all. So this was in. Uh, Numbnut said that this is a cheap scope, and I'm going to agree with him because he's probably smarter than me in that area. Uh, this is an older bayonet. I don't know if I showed you all this, but I don't know. I'm gonna look. It's definitely old and def definitely military issued, and you didn't you didn't train with these, so this looks like it might have seen live action. Okay, I didn't get to see any. He just started popping stuff open, but look, that says 1960 on it or 66 on that one. Oh, that's cool. So a little engraved knife. Um, a watch. Swiss Army watch. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's nice, yeah. Let's see. These are, we found a bunch of these. That's why I think he was in the business of like reselling knives and stuff. Mm -hmm. All these little mini mag knives, uh, bench made. Look. That one's in there. It's, I know. Oh, cool. oh this is the one, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you more detail about this one. This one's a limited run. This is a pre, oh, really? like, look, pre production. 178 of 300. They only made 300 of these knives pre production, I guess, as a test. So this will be in the auction with the box. All right, show you more detail okay. here. Yeah, but look at this, y'all. It's still got the papers. I got to be be careful. 
Uh, this is like a 90s buck, but look at that, y'all. Oh, that's cool. Is that not? That's it's so a nice. buck uh, 110 U. Yeah, I, so I'm sorry I didn't go through these with y'all. But look, me and Lunker's got our own deal. Y'all stay out of it. We have a deal of how we do things when we come here. And that's just how we do it. But I'm always going to show you what's up because, you know, I love you guys. Look at this. This is so pretty. Oh, yeah. Look Brand at this. New. Look at the grip on that. That is sick. That's a Boker Solinger Germany. And we know those are money, right? The yep. Bokers. Uh-huh. Change it up for the ladies. A little something, something for the ladies. I found this in the back. It's a little oh, pendant. Yeah. It's James Avery there. Oh, cool. Look, little yeah, 925 cute. James Avery. Uh, sing a hoo hoo But y'all, check it out. I started pulling jewelry boxes out of one of the boxes. And I started setting them up. And then in my normal fashion, I somehow knocked the whole stack off on top of myself. They kind of... So there's James Avery in there. This was $140 new. Okay. I uh, don't see a year right off the bat, but it's a SOG, you know. Look at that big old bad boy. Yep. Holy cannoli. Y'all, that's heavy too. Seki Japan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good though. A lot of y'all are like, man, Seki, Japan and China. Don't nothing good come from either place. I disagree. I think nicer stuff comes out of Japan than China. Empty, empty. Say, but y'all, so, well, some of these could be the ones in the big. Yeah, and the thing. So that's we're going to keep, keep the boxes because the boxes are sellable. What does this say? Year of excellent Chris Reeves knives. Y'all, we got to find that. Where's that at? You know, yeah. empty. See, he was he was a retailer, mm -hmm. a reseller. Yeah. But, you know, not the kind of reseller. You know, I'm joking. I'm joking, Rob. I'm giving you crap. He argued with me before, before I sent him the links on these units to bid on them that it was a reseller. It's like me going around telling them how to catch a bass, you know what I mean, and what bait to use, you know what I mean, or when the conditions are right. I, I say when the conditions are right on the units, you know what I mean? All right, look, more mag lights, U.S. military. See, that's the big military one, and I know for a fact that one's in there, mm -hmm. or at least one of them. Bench made. What was that? Crawford, some kind of carnivore thing. Okay, then we got a Camillus, Camillus which is another good oh, brand. Good. Yeah, and it's one of the big combat knives, you know? So, definitely got some age to it. But here's the deal, y'all. These are... In pretty good condition for being old. All yeah. these knives are made in the right places. America, uh, Seki Japan, and Germany. Solinger Germany. Man, they, they have some high quality stuff. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and do this. This Gerber, the Mark II, that's in that. Oh, it is. Case. So we have the box, so we'll sell that complete with the box. I don't remember this brand. I don't know if I've ever come across this. Beck, Becker Knife and Tool Corp. Oh, look at this. This is another Gerber, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah, look. Yeah. Oh, nice. the Gerber Black Blade. The other one was a stainless steel, I think, or oh, okay. whatever it was made out of. That, that said black. Black, so, but look. Gerber. Gerber. Look at this. So we got a two Gerbers, but we got several Gerber boxes. And then we got this. Oh, these are two different BKT. It's super heavy. Mm -hmm. And then we got another BKT in here. Oh, yeah. Look at these that. Like Brand spanking. Oh, let's see. Hold on. He's got a receipt. Oh, no. Hold on. I found receipts in some of his knives to see what he was spending on them. And I don't see it on the box. So this, that? well, this okay, was good. in there. In the real thing? Hey man, why'd you throw it away just, man? That's worth two dollars. Hey, um, you don't worry about what I do with my stuff. Now, while we're on a rant in this video, <laughs> some of y'all are just mean and I love you, but you gotta stop it. Look at this. This That's is cool. old. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, look at this. Look at the, what is that? You see that star? It says click it, click it. Y'all, this is old. I think this is old. This is like probably World War II era. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, definitely. Got your purse, I got my pistol. All right, we're gonna throw these sheets down here that's going in the trash. This is some kind of case. Oh, Pelican case. You know, okay, yeah, but, yeah, but I might keep that though because Pelican cases are good for, I mean, they'll sell just by themselves if we put these two Pelican cases like in, yeah, one, lot. in one lot. Like somebody will want those Pelican cases. Y'all, look at this. Oh, that, babe, this might be like 
Oh, that's Stamp fun. US. Yeah, this looks real though. Like military? Yeah, look right here. I don't I don't think it's a repop. Because I mean look at the rust and everything on it. Like I mean and it's real leather, so I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think. <laughs> They're brand new. They haven't been used yet. <laughs> See where I'm going with this? All right, let's take a break from doing unboxing, and we'll pop some new boxes open. But this is, this is, what is that? What is that? A piece of a meteorite? Because look at this. What is, I mean, what is this? What are you doing with that? What's up with that? All right, here, this is. Yeah, okay, don't look at that. Oh. Okay. Hold on. But okay, so let me see if this is the same girl. Okay, this is the same girl in these pictures. Oh, so this, I guess this is considered. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna look down in there because y'all like look. I don't like I don't like seeing naked women. I know that to y'all that's probably mind blowing, but Jesus only wants me to look at my wife. I believe that. I saw these yesterday. I know I didn't show these at all, but these were kind of oh, cool. Oh, those were cool. Yeah, little transformers. Mm -hmm. Not not the coolest one like the '84 Optimus Prime we found. Oh, this is like some kind of game or something. Look. It's got a handle. It's like you do combat or you yeah. pretend like you're flying Ooh, around. Yeah. Oh, you like that? Ooh. <laughs> um, and then look. That? That's the bad guy. Oh, wait, oh, there's something else down in there. Is that vintage? It is. What is this? Is that another G.I. Joe? No, thing? it's not G.I. Joe, I don't think. But it is from. I can't read it, but it's from China. All right, y'all, look, here's a bunch of gun cleaning stuff and equipment. Uh, how much was this new? Does it say? I don't know. But there's a pistol grip. Another pistol grip. Uh, another older pistol. That was uh, Smith & Wesson, I think. So these sell. Uh, we need the pouch for this. This, uh, this should have a leather pouch. This is military. Cool. And then... Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I don't know how this wasn't shown. This is the coolest slash probably the cheapest action figure i found but look at that who's that it's nico who's nico steven seagal oh. Hello. <laughs> I didn't know that. this is that thing i was talking about let me see if i can find those pills okay let's see what these are because this was my concern that these were in here look a room charge on there uh like i mean so this is methocarbonyl tablets. May cause drowsiness and dizziness. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, why do you have that in there? Were you chopping this up and putting it in people's... Yo, look what we just found. What? Hey, I'm gonna... Hey, we're gonna get off the camera here in just a second. And you're gonna check these. Okay. Just, Gift yeah, look, they're not even... I don't know whether you're not supposed to scratch that. But if it is, look at all this money and... And food. All right, we found this autograph ball yesterday, but it looks like I don't know. I feel like there's Karen. Like there's a lot of chicks' names on that, so I'm not sure. All right, y'all, it's getting a little darker in here, but I wanted to check these stacks right here because these were like DVDs and stuff. Because I still feel like we're gonna find more vintage games because I mean we found '80s GI Joes, we found a uh, uh, NES system, and so I'm hoping that we can find more games but right now as i'm finding i mean but they're in great condition mm -hmm. you no know, very clean look at this this is easily look some of these are new that's a great movie too oh, that's a good movie. um look at these blu-rays still sealed look at that that's the avenger sealed so look, i mean we, we easily got 500 dollars i think in dvds all right look we got this little bag that's kind of neat hot wheels. hot wheels we got a little uh fire department he had a lot of cops stuff. he worked for tsa too oh he at did some point. yeah mm -hmm. the airport yeah so there was just there was a lot of things that like kind of again look creepy but as of right now i'm just not saying anything illegal or underage all right guys so check it out actually i can't tell you that till we're done with this box you aren't gonna believe this all right Mr. Potato Head. Oh, look, he's in there. How is he? What year is this, though? 1996 Hasbro. Potato Head. Look, there's a little bunch of fun stuff in here. What is this? 
Blackhawk, the world's finest tactical nylon guaranteed for life. Okay. Bunch of new. Oh, wait, no. Uh, got a little 30 cent Iron Man action right there. There's a whole box of comics in the other unit. I just couldn't get to it. Uh, silicone gun and real cloth. Uh, that's weird. That's pins. Got new cologne. That's still in there. Look at this. Just knives. Throwing knives. That's from, yeah, the movie Bullet with Steve McQueen. That's kind of oh, cool. cool. That's a model. Yeah. That's kind of fun. Uh, dirty t-shirt. No telling what went down with that. Uh, so look down in here. Look, just wallets. Like, Smith & Wesson. Oh, Wolofsky. What's this? Oh, um, yeah. I wonder if these are expensive. Bill Blast. But y'all y'all know some pins can be super expensive. Uh, that's a thing you hang up to put knives on. Oh, magnet grip. Um, and I think this is a little cup. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, and, and there's Ray Bands, a little moonbeam action. That's what we call it in boot camp. Oh, yeah. That's what you call the class. I was a moonbeam. <laughs> and so, uh, look down in here. What is that? Little party favors. Uh oh. Look down here, you got Chinese stars. Y'all, every kid wanted Chinese stars when you was a kid, didn't you? There was this guy that lived next to my mom when I was like six or seven, and I called him Keith the Ninja because he had a board outside. Now that I look back on it, he was probably, I was gonna say white trash like this, but because uh, he was just out back throwing these at a board with spray paint on it. Oh, yeah. Now you visualize that. It's interesting. Look, I'm not gonna dig down in too much, but here's a Gerber. Oh, cool. It's called the Easy L. That was my nickname in high school, it was Easy L. Oh, was it? Yeah, it was Gerber. Actually, you know what? It's far from my no, I'm, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to sell it to you guys. This is not clickbait for the next video. This is not just hype. It is a cliffhanger, but it's a, it's a true cliffhanger. Lunkers just made a horrible, horrible mistake on a unit that we were discussing this morning. I told them what I thought the budget was to make sure that we made money on it. And can I just tell you, he went almost three times as high as he should have paid on that unit and it wasn't no $100 unit. Stay tuned to see if we're even gonna make money on it.